So today I'm playing Super Mario Crossover again. Now, some of my old videos that I did of this, I didn't have any commentary or anything, and I got a lot of hits on it, so I figured I'd do another video just kind of showing what it is and kind of explaining explaining it and whatnot. Now, I didn't make this game. I didn't develop it. I have no idea who did. Uh, I'm not going to link it in the description or anything just because of all the recent stuff that Nintendo's done with ROM sites and things like that. So if you need to, if you want to find it and play it, you're gonna have to do a search for it, but it's, it's flash based, it's browser based. So just a simple Google search and it's really easy to find and it plays off the keyboard. Uh, you can use like a program like joy to key to play with a controller, but we're going to go kind of go through the options real quick here. So buttons, I'm just going to kind of set the buttons here so I can control the movement with my left fingers and the jumping and whatnot with my right fingers. So we're going to do WASD for this. And then jump, tack, special, pause, and select. There we go. That's a little better. So, so general, there's my phone going in the background. <laughs> So general here, full screen mode, tutorials, lock frame rate, <laughs> Game Boy filter, it's kind of cool. I'm not sure what some of this stuff is, but I don't want to mess with it. Of course we got the sound and everything. But skins, here, here's a really cool thing. So we changed the map skin, and we actually changed what the graphics look like here. So we got the standard Super Mario Brothers, of course, Super Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers, Mario 2, even some things like Castlevania. <laughs> That's kind of cool looking. I love that one. Zelda 2. We're just going to stick to just regular Super Mario Brothers for the purpose of this video here, though. So we'll go back, and we're going to start a new game. So we're just going to leave everything at default here. So here it asks us to pick our character. We'll start with the Mega Man. Now all these, pretty sure all these pretty much play the same, but you got different skins based on different Mega Man characters, different versions of Mega Man. Like you got your normal NES Mega Man, you got Mega Man from the Genesis version, Mega Man without the helmet, Proto Man, Roll, Cut Man, just various things like that. Let me back out? Yeah, okay, so. You got different characters, you got Link from Legend of Zelda, various versions of Link, even some Final Fantasy characters, kind of thrown over that play like Link. You got Samus, all the different versions of Samus from all the different versions of Metroid. Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Of course, they threw in some different skins. <laughs> you got base from Mega Man, of course. You know, different skins. Play over that. You got Contra. You got Bill Riser. All the various skins. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that by accident. That's okay. We'll play some Contra. So one thing I want to show you just right off the bat is normally in Super Mario Brothers you're playing Mario. Get the mouse cursor out of the way. If you jump, stomp on a character, you squash him. But if you do that in Contra in the actual game, you die, which of course makes sense because that's a, that's an ability that Mario does. So you don't actually want to jump on a jump and stomp on a character unless you're actually playing as Mario or Luigi. So you gotta, you gotta attack the characters like you would playing that game. So we get the Super Mushroom here, and that'll upgrade our standard attack to the machine gun. So you can still hit the coin blocks, like jump underneath them. So 
So we'll go down the pipe here. Of course, you break the break the bl uh, bricks with a machine gun. And of course, uh, the Contra characters don't really have a long jump, so it kind of gives you like a little platform here to hit the flagpole. So we'll pick the same character for the next stage. I often play this at, or at least I used to. I used to play this at my desk at work during my breaks in my cubicle. So we grab the next power up. Gives us a spread shot. Of course, this is really cool. Just shoot all the bricks and everything. So if I hit the, the special button, it just goes to the regular attack. If I remember correctly, because I haven't played uh, this character in this game in a while, the power-ups are random, so sometimes you'll get the laser. I could be wrong, could be remembering it wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So it's not too overpowered. It takes uh, takes a couple of hits of the Goombas to kill them with your weapon. Grab the extra life here. Now if I get hit, it should put me back to just a regular machine gun. Oh, it'll put me back down to the just normal weapon. So it's like the equivalent of it shrunk me. Of course it takes a couple of hits to break the break the bricks. And let's see if we can get to the warp zone here. So it extends the brick here a little bit, so it's easier to make the jump with other characters. And let's go to World 2. So let's give someone else a try. Let's give Samus a try. So because I haven't grabbed a Super Mushroom, you get the base attack, which just shoots a beam just a little just a little ways, like in Metroid, like in the original NES Metroid. But if you grab the Super Mushroom, you get the long beam. You can see the missile count in the corner, so if I hit the special button, it'll fire a missile. Of course, killing enemies will give me a missile count. So you can't really duck in the original Metroid, but you can in all the other ones, like Super Metroid, the Game Boy Advance Metroid. So they kind of added that here in this game for simplicity. Hit down. Shoot your bombs. <laughs> so see what we get here. So we got the wave beam. Of course, you got the very the various suit. Oh, it gave me the screw attack too. You got the various suit showing that you got the fire, fire power. Oh, I was hoping to keep the spin and hit them. It's all right. So I would love to see this get some kind of Nintendo uh, release. Like they had those NES re remix games on the DS or 3DS or whichever one that was. 
Never had a chance to play those. I'll have to pick those up eventually. Oh, I am running out of time. I like how it changes music when you're running out of time. So if I remember correctly, the swimming levels, because none of these characters actually have a swimming stage, it just controls normally. So let's try playing Link. Okay, so it lets me jump higher because I'm in the water. Now, of course, Link never jumped in any Legend of Zelda's with the exception of the, the Game Boy version. So it kind of gave, it gave you the Game Boy jumping ability. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Gives you the down thrust and the up thrust from Zelda 2, the Adventure Link. Oh, they hit the special, I like get to throw the boomerang. Got an airplane flying over my apartment. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> I live next to an airport. Or close to an airport, I should say. So yeah, we got the up thrust. We got the down thrust from... From uh, Link or Zelda 2 Adventure Link. Gives us the jumping ability from uh, the Game Boy games. Since those are the only Game Boy games where it actually gives you like a jumping button or a jumping ability. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Other than that, it's, it's controls pretty much uh, like uh, like the dungeons in Legend, the original Legend of Zelda when you go to grab an item. When you go kind of go down the stairs. So give me some weeds here to jump on. Since there's no swimming. Because only Mario has the swimming in this game. Uh oh. So I got Oh, so we can walk backwards. So we can kind of backtrack on the stage if we want to. That's a nice touch. I'll just skip through that there. Alright, so let's try Mega Man here. Okay, so I hit select, it gives me rush, so I can bounce up. I don't see a meter, so I can probably just use it as many times as I want. Whoops! <laughs> hit the wrong button there. How many guys do I got left? Two guys left. Okay, I'm good. So this is a Flash game, so you have to have uh, Flash installed on your browser in order to play it. Which, unfortunately, they're phasing out Flash. So I don't know what will happen when that happens. But the game will still be playable. There'll probably be a place where you can still download it and install it on like an older version of a browser or something. So 
What happens with the mushroom? Oh, that's right. I can shoot the Mega Buster. So if you get the mushroom, you can charge up and shoot the Mega Buster. Or Rock Buster if you're playing in Japan. I think they call it the Rock Buster. And yep, I got the slide. Oh, 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 oh. Can I get him? Yeah, so you can actually, you can kill him or you can slide under him and get the axe, whichever. And the guy who tells you your prince is in the ca another castle is dependent on what character you're playing as. So that's kind of cool. Dr. Light's in another castle. So let's play Mega Man one more time so we can grab some power-ups to kind of show this off. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so it gives me a random random item. If I shoot the regular attack, I shoot the arm cannon. If I hit the special button, I shoot the metal blades. Can I get that? Oh, yeah. I know there's an extra life around here somewhere. So let's uh, switch characters here. What are the characters we got? Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. So this is a lot of fun. This makes the game a little bit harder, but it's a lot of fun to play. Oh, did I skip? The oh, there we go. Got the mushroom. That strengthens strengthens the attack. Adds a little more damage. I'm surprised more people don't know about this game. I mean, I'd love to see this get like some speedrunners playing this or something. So let's try one more uh, character here. Simon Belmont from Castlevania. And of course it gives you the double jump from some of the newer Metroidvania games. So if I hit the special button it throws the axe. which is going to be really handy here. <laughs> oh, dang it. So just for some added fun, 
Let's change the map skin to Castlevania. So we're basically, basically playing Super Mario Brothers, but it'll look like Castlevania. So the Hammer Brothers look like skeletons, that's kind of cool. So there's no energy bars, so it's just one hit. Or if you got a mushroom, it's two hit. There we go. So grabbing that turns your whip into a chain whip. So one more will probably lengthen it. Of course all the Goombas and and uh, Koopas look uh, Castlevania themed, so that's really cool. Let's see if there's another power up here. We are. Oh, so if I hit the select button, it also throws the boomerang. So that's good to know. So let's go back to the Mario skin. Of course, all the different skins, Castlevania 2, Castlevania 4, kind of scrunch up a little bit. We got Richter here. Yeah, definitely a fun game. Definitely, uh, definitely worth searching out and playing. And again, it's browser-based. So there's no download required. I got the heart counter in the corner. <laughs> and game over. Sure, we'll continue real quick. Definitely a little harder playing this on a keyboard. Whoops. <laughs> So we'll just do one more thing real quick before I close this up. Play this Mario, just to show that you can play just standard Super Mario Brothers. Still plays it almost identical to standard Super Mario. And that is Super Mario Brother Crossover version 3.0, I believe. And let me know what you think below. Uh, I got some of the older videos with gameplay with no commentary on my channel. So if you look through there, you'll be able to find them. And let me know what you guys think. See you guys later.
Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. If you like what you see and you would like to support this channel and help it grow, please click the subscribe right here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to give a like and leave a comment below. Also, if you click this little bell icon right here, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys later.